Listen up people, you're right. I was dumb for comparing the CD1 to a Vanguard. Thanks for the reminder. I had a Zeta's Moon the entire time too, so that makes me feel even more stupid. Good news, I'll compare them. Bad news, it is 40 mile an hour winds today. So uh, just to make it a little bit more fun, I'm also going to be throwing the new First Line MD5, Ganon Burr's FD, and the new Ganon Burr bottom stamped Exo Hard Lynx are actually pretty swirly. I don't know if uh, you guys can tell or not, but we're just gonna play some holes out here and see what the wind does to them. By the way, are officially all available on the site. Please go check it out if you want to support your boy. S-Line CD1 straight into a headwind. How is she gonna fly? That was a lot of hyzer and I still got a full flight almost. Showed no signs of finishing. Now for Zeta's Moon, I'm gonna have to put this one on a dummy hyzer also. Huh. Like I said, while those two battle it out, I'm throwing the new stuff and FD. Dude, none of these discs are good for the wind other than that MD5. But here is our Glow FD. How does that FD have more of a finish? than the CD1. Interesting. By the way, I've been trying to shoot this comparison video for three days now. The wind hasn't stopped. If you like flying kites, you could have flown one for 72 hours. We're just gonna have to deal with the weather today. I'm really sorry. There's the Zeta's moon and the S line is just a little bit farther. One point for him. And now for score, we'll play from the FD. Isn't it crazy that these flipped more than the FD? That's kind of wild. Anyways, S line, MD5 for the approach. I'm gonna have to put this puppy out wide. It's a good little shot. Now we get the text, text. Now we get to test out the Exo Hard Link. Not sure if I said this already, but we're only playing six holes because I'm throwing three times. That equals 18, so it's like playing a full round. Okay, here. This putter feels really good. Very grippy, almost like rubber grippy. Feels kind of clean. All right, here we go. 25 footer for the par. Huh, tap in for the bogey. Funny story, yesterday I played around out at Pleasant View. I checked social media. Calvin Heinberg was at this course yesterday. I just missed the man. And now I'm not sure if that's him, but that is a van with Florida license plate. May or may not have been him. Okay, I don't think that was him. At least I didn't recognize the person driving. All right, here we go, 300 feet. <laughs> Do I even throw a forehand with these CD1s? I mean, what the heck? I'm gonna have to play this on hyzer outright and just play the turn the entire way. First shot with the S-Line CD1. Low key, that might have actually worked. Never mind. We're just having fun, all right? These aren't comparison videos. This is just me being stupid in a crazy wind today. Low key, that might have been the play, forehand roller. That might have got the C2. Okay, I think I'm gonna go link for the final shot. I'm gonna have to put this on a lot of hyzer. I think because it's new, it can handle the headwind. I just don't know if I can get 300 feet of distance. Well, it handled the wind nice. Pin high. C2 putt. All right, can we finish even today or under? First shot was absolutely horrible. This one ended up rolling into C2. So that's one point they're officially tied up. I thought I was pin high, I'm a little short and left. In case you couldn't tell. I think we can definitely finish it even. Under might be a completely different ball game. Oh my gosh. Just pretend there's no win. Okay. It's hard not to when your disc flies like a butterfly. For the par. Dude, tap-ins are even sketched. Thankfully, this is our last hole in the headwind, then we'll have a tailwind for the remainder of the video. I don't even think it's possible to get these in C1 with the amount of flip that they keep having, but we'll try. Dummy hyzer out left and then just cross the fingers. Oh, maybe? Circle two at least. Damn, I was probably in the way. All right, Zeta's Moon, even more hyzer and a little bit higher. It's a roller. That might be in C1. Dude, the wind is wilding right now. And believe it or not, FD, not on as much hyzer. I think you can actually handle this wind, believe it or not. It's trying to fight. Okay, it can't handle the wind, Jesus, bro. It didn't turn into a roller, though. Here's a good question. Would you rather play in 40 mile an hour winds or in the rain? Calm, but it's raining. Low key, I think I'd choose the rain. Go in the bucket. Oh, that was close. I'm gonna try with the link. Oh, all the time in the world. That was so close. All right, anyways, let's go check on the bozos. Zeta's Moon, definitely inside C2. The S line, no points. This dude is beating him by rollers. And I know I'm wildin' for saying this, but uh, I'm pretty sure that this isn't as flippy as this. Granted, there's a lot of wind, but I'm just going based off of what I think. This link was stupid close. It had a hang time of half an hour, but it was close. This MD5, oh shoot. I forgot we're trying to shoot under. I gotta take this serious. Okay, here we go. Just gotta... I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Tap in. 
Oh my god. Okay, we got tailwinds from here on out. All right, we got to get the birdie on this one. Ripping tailwind, so that's good. I'm still gonna have to put these on hyzer. At least you won't have to throw any more rollers. It's still turning. Yo, you have to put this on a freaking Kevin Jones hyzer for these to fly. Kevin Jones. That's better. Zeta's winning. All right, now for my score. FD, please get inside the circle, preferably like a tap in, but beggars can't be choosers. Skip up the hill. Okay, straight flight. The wind seems like it's down. If it does decide to show up, it's gonna be a tailwind. I'm putting this uphill, so I need to go ahead and put this a lot higher than I think. Is that crazy high? Healthy bid. Let's try to give this a soft little run with the MD5. Dang, that was really close. This guy was chilling out in no man's land. Zeta's moon somehow found the circle. Apparently it was, all I needed was a KJ Heiser. Where was that earlier, bro? Uh, and now the link for the par. We have two holes left. I need to get two birdies. Oh my God, and I need to get that MD5 too. Here we go, feeling pretty good about this one. 270 feet. It is basically GG's to this blue CD1 unless he starts getting some points. Gonna redeem ourselves on the forehand. Gotta put it out wide and underneath that branch. Get under, get under. He does not wanna win. That's it, simple as that. Dude's out here being a bozo. Here's the Zeta's moon. I would not be surprised if he tries to roll up to the pin. Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. This is a joke. All right, back to score. Score is a more important piece. MD5. Dang, I really want to throw that link right at it. Going with the gut though. MD5, out wide on some hyzer. Same plan, got to get it underneath that branch. There's the pin and we have blue chilling inside C2 and that little roller over there has no points So it's kind of close. It's gonna come down to the island hole. Meanwhile, I'm still looking for my first birdie putt, dude I'm really tempted to putt this with the CD1, but I'll take my chances with the link rub the Gannon burst stamp for good luck Hmm all right, well, this round's going as good as I thought. However, if I can stick the island on all these shots, that is a win in my book. You already know we empty in the bag. Final shots with the CD1s. This man has to be parked if he wants to win. So, a lot of hyzer out wide. Please stick the island. That actually looks tasty, I think. Maybe long. What? I thought that was crushed. I thought I crushed that dude. The homie might actually beat this one because this is going to try to roll across the pond. I already know that. Here we go. A lot more hyzer. Do not risk it for the biscuit. A lot of turn. Oh, it's gonna be park two. Never mind. We got a lot of wind at the end. Two for two, three more shots. Do I wanna go forehand or backhand with the FD? Forehand, right? I mean, we got a tailwind. If the CD ones can make it, then Gannon Burke can too. Oh my gosh, I'm like over safing. Is that even a word? I'm playing everything very safe. Dude, that means in like circle four. All right, here we go, Link. This one's gonna be a real shot. We are running this thing. Drop, drop. Please. Okay, we're good. Jumped over that little stick. MD5, I haven't thrown a forehand with this one yet. Is now the time? We're going for it. Here we go, forehand with the MD5. Extra safe, that's the lamest way to end a video. Hey.